Hey guys, what is going on? Fluffy Ninja from War Proof Paintball and War Sports Chicago Land. I'm here with kind of a weird video. I haven't really thought this out. Uh, you can kind of see the gun wall behind me. Uh, my G Tech is missing. You got the LB ones up there. We got the the enemy that I picked up off of eBay um, not that long ago. So um, I think that one's going to be donated to PTW just because I picked it up. It was super cheap. So I was like, yeah, that's totally fine. Um, but something that I picked up the other day, too, was uh, something that brought back, like, uh, a few memories for me. Uh, that's for sure. It was um, this Empire X. Um, this was one of my first uh, tournament markers. Uh, this was one of the first markers that I used to kind of, like, get to where I am in paintball. Um the first tournament marker that I used was the Mini GS, um, that later got banned from tournaments that I was playing, so I had to pick something else up, um, and I was like, well, I can't afford an ego, I can't afford this, I can't afford that, and that's when Empire came out with the X, and I was like, wow, that looks phenomenal, so pick, I'll, I'll pick up one of those, um, so, you know, I shot it for probably, oh my god, probably at least a year and a half without touching anything on it. I never upgraded the barrel, never upgraded to the red line because that was something that was like only on the limited edition axes. Uh, never upgraded to like the boss bolt or whatever bolts they came out with. Um, I just, I ran it stock and it worked all the time. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of something that, I mean, I guess this is going to be geared towards new players, I guess. Um, I know there's a lot of players out there uh, right now that I know that the Axe was their first marker, the Mini was their first marker, or the Mini is their marker of choice now because it's small, it's lightweight, you know, you can play a scenario game with it and still have a really good time. It's somewhat efficient. Uh, I think they get maybe about nine pods, which isn't which isn't bad because people that are going out with Minis and Axes I, I don't want to say they're budget ballers, but they're they're people that aren't blowing a shitload of money on paintball. They're people that have their priorities straight. They don't have three fucking LV1s up on the wall, you know, for no fucking reason. Um, so if if you if if you're looking at markers at this point, um, we did like the mini GS like efficiency test. It was super dumb. Like we were, you know. Is what like over five years ago I think now uh, some something like that um, maybe I, I I don't even know I just know it was like a really long time ago um, but we we did that test it has like over five thousand views over three thousand views something something like that I don't know um. But people still ask me questions on that all the time. And it's like, this video is so old. There's so many other markers out there. Like, the GTEC 160R. Like, this is, hands down, my marker of choice now. Um, I know that they're releasing a newer version. I think it's I think it's supposed to be called the C-TEC. That could just be, like, rumors and, like, really, really well photoshopped art. But it's basically this, no AT pipe. And it's supposed to have the, the Gamma Core Pro in it. So... Who knows? But this is, as of right now, my my marker of choice. But it's also, you know, 600, 700 bucks. Um, and then for the... Sorry, I got something in my... Uh, and then for the stealth version, it's like 800, I think. But the axe you can get online, <laughs> on Facebook for... 200 bucks, like, the fact that I've been seeing them go for 200 bucks kind of breaks my heart a little bit, just because they are, I mean, they they are the meme of the paintball world, really, but they are, without a doubt, the best paintball gun for the value. Um, I know a lot of people, um, like, my, a lot of people that I know, uh, like Paco, um, who's sponsored by Vulcan, he swears by the code, up and down, left, right, but the code is just an axe body with an ion bolt. Like that's <laughs> that's really it. I mean, granted, the marker is amazing; it shoots really nice. Um, spool valve is always nice. This is inline poppet, but inline poppet 
a little bit more efficient, not too much, but a little bit more efficient. But it's, you know, it's an axe. It's, it's, you know, you can, these are, these are basically like next to the Titman, which is without a doubt indestructible in the paintball world. These are the AK-47 of the paintball world. I've seen people do so many ridiculous things to these that it's impossible. That it's, it's like, you can't even tell that it's an axe underneath. Um, but these, these guns are just, just kind of tried and true, man. And, uh, like, I, I hope I get to go out and maybe shoot this next weekend of the Destiny game. Next weekend is the, the Destiny game down at Paintball Barn. Krista is commanding, um, come on, come on out and play for her. You know, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. I know she would too. Um, but yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's just one of those things that like, like these, these guns were so cool when they came out, everybody, you know, flipped their shit over them. Uh, Infamous started using them. They, they won a couple tournaments with them. Uh, and then they switched to the Vanquish and started losing, which was, you know, I'm just saying. Um, <laughs> but the, the X is like, it's hands down, you know, probably just one of the best guns on the market for the price that you can get it at. Like if you get, if you get a used X for 200 bucks, you have a great value. You really do. Um, like I said, I'm hoping, you know, take this out, shoot it a little bit, you know, uh, I'm not going to compare the two. I'm just kind of showing you is like, this is basically what I started with. And this is where I'm at now, you know. Um, I've had a lot of guns along the way. I've had a couple thousand dollar guns. Uh, I've had, you know, seventy dollar guns like the enemy there. Um, but I, I settled right in the middle. Um, we have a we have a friend of ours, Dewey. Um, he has CS twos. He's had twisters. He's had you know ev everything. He's had everything. Um, he said that he he's he's made the statement that I won't shoot anything under a thousand dollars. He had a brand new M3 as soon as they came out. Um, but when I was in a bind and I needed to sell a gun, I sold my original GTEC 160R. Um, I was so heartbroken to sell that gun. Um, but he still has it. <laughs> he still has it. He goes, it's the only gun under $1,000 that I'll shoot because it's fantastic. Um, and then when I had to sell my stealth, again, heartbroken that I, you know, money, money issues come up. But... I'm glad to have a 160R platform back in my hands. Um, that is a teammate's, that's not mine. Uh, a friend of mine used it at the, the Purge game, and he goes, this gun is fantastic. Uh, he broke paint a little bit, but that's that was the paint we were shooting. And because it was so cold, oh my God, uh, we were shooting five star in like 40 degree weather, which is not a great blend, but um, we shot paint all fucking day. And, we had breaks here and there, but we, we were just running the field. It was great. Um, we, we even won the, I actually don't know what it is. Um, I had it. I don't know where it went though. Uh, whatever. But we, we won the, <laughs> we won the MVT award, uh, from Too Tall. And that was really cool that he, that he gave that to us. Uh, unfortunately we, uh, Krista and I and Adam, my friend, uh, we had to leave early, um, so the only people there were to accept that were Austin, Steve, and Brett. And they looked super confused as to why they were up there. And I'm sure everybody else was confused as how a fucking three-man team. But, I mean, there, I think there was probably 10 of us, 15 of us there, just running shit all day. It was, it was nuts. It was such a blast. And, honestly, it's probably the most fun that I've had playing paintball this year um, was at Blast Camps Per Jam. So... I know they're doing it again next year. They've already released their schedule, so if they if you are making your your calendar for next year for 2019, um, look look at their schedule immediately and put the purge game down as a game that you're going to go to. Um, we kind of messed up. We really did. We went to an event the week beforehand. It was not fun at all. Uh, we ran into a few people that they were like, yeah, we're done with this place. We don't want to be here. Like, this game is not good. The The field is not fun anymore. You know, we're not having fun playing paintball out here anymore. And I, I can understand that. I, I got that feeling at the beginning of the year when that field made the decision that it did. Um, so I, I can understand their 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 anger um, almost. Um and then when I told them about the purge game, they were like, well, shit, we wouldn't have wasted our money coming to this if we'd known that was going to be a thing. And, yeah, 
you know, I, that's, that's my fuck up that I didn't get the word out enough, uh, I, I definitely should have, um, but it's already on the schedule for next year, and I'm already looking forward to it, I'm hoping, 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 hoping that I can talk Virgil into making it a two-day game, that is by far what I want to do, because two-day BYOP games don't exist anymore, um, I know Badlands is having events, but nobody, nobody really wants to play there anymore, they just, they just don't, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe we can bring life back to that field, um, the way, <laughs> the way things are going right now in, in my life, um, opening my field, or the idea that we have for a field is probably not going to happen within the next 10 years, I was hoping for five, but that's not going to happen, I don't think, um, not without a, not without a great deal of luck, um, hopefully something that I, I will be bringing to market, um, pans out, and I'm, I'm able to build on it and turn that into a product that's widely available, and that helps fund the field, that would be great, um, but, yeah, <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, once I get all the patent work through for that, um, I'll hopefully be making a GoFundMe page and, you know, stuff like that to, to actually bring it to market, uh, I'm, I'm super excited about it, everybody that I've talked to about it, let test the first prototype, which was stolen, unfortunately. Um, everybody that I let test it said it was fantastic. Uh, for bigger players like like me and Gumby, um, our guy Ed, <clears throat> a couple other guys that were like, ooh, that looks cool, yeah, let me test it. Uh, I think I let Gumby take it out for an hour, and he was like, I don't want to give it back. He's like, I want this as a product right now. And I was like, it's not going to be for another year. <laughs> You know, I'm um, talking with a prototyper. Uh, my, mo my mom and I actually built the first prototype, and then we just built the second, or the, the, the second and the third one, um, just today, uh, Saturday. So, um, hopefully we'll be testing them next weekend at Destiny Game, and, you know, just kind of go from there again. I'm just kind of waiting on pad and work to go through. Um, I'm being fucked over by some other stuff, but, you know, that's personal issues that I, I gotta take care of. Hopefully, it's not too bad. So, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, thank you guys very much for subscribing. Uh, if, if you have any questions ever about paintball guns, about, um, I don't know, any subject that I might know something about, uh, let me know, hit me up in the comments. Um, I'm not super active on Instagram and stuff like that. I know I had somebody ask a question and I totally missed it. And I, I, it, this, the time got further and further away. It was talking about an XLS or an, an RSX. If you're buying new, buy an XLS. If you're buying used, buy an RSX because RSXs, you can now get them cheaper than Shocker was able to make them. So get one of those, I would love to get an RSX and then put a CBO kit on it, which is a smaller version of my CBO, I think would be fantastic, um, just for other people to try, because I, I want to play with my CBO, I, I haven't gotten to play with the last few events, because people have been like, hey, can I shoot your CBO, and I'm, I'm not going to say no, because my whole job is being sponsored by Shocker, is to get their guns into as many people's hands as possible, so, you know, um, yeah, again, Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you in the next video.